Hey, I'm Seth Mosley coming to you from our recording studio in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are here to answer any and all of your questions about the music industry. If you're watching now, you want to know how to get a record deal, and that is a great question, and I have a great answer for you. But first, I want to ask you, are you worth a million dollars? Because let's face it, in a lot of industries and most markets, that's what's what it's going to cost for a label to break an artist. They're gonna have to spend around a million dollars. Um, a country radio promotion tour just for one song alone is gonna cost a million dollars. You know, even in a smaller genre like Christian music, they're gonna spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to get your music out there, to get you out there. So you've gotta ask yourself, are if you were on their side of the table, just picture yourself on Shark Tank and they're the investors and you're sitting in front of them, really what you're asking for isn't just a record deal. You're asking for, hey, will you give me a million dollars? And will you give me one of the coveted slots on your roster? Because it's not only the money, but it's the choice that they're making to not put their energy and the full weight of their team behind somebody else. So that's what you're asking for. So first of all, make sure you're really considering the uh, the weight of what you're asking for with that. That aside, there are some, some really key steps when we break it down into a grassroots level. Number one, you're gonna wanna know who is it that you're supposed to connect with. And the person at the label responsible for finding and signing talent is the A&R, A&R person, the artists and repertoire. A lot of people think it stands for airports and restaurants, although it does entail a lot of that, but they're the ones who are responsible for finding and signing talent. So those are the people you're gonna to wanna to connect with. The second recommendation I'd have is getting discovered by a label through a publishing deal. A lot of people, uh, you know, when they move to Nashville, the first step in is often to sign a publishing deal because it's a lower bar of entry. It's a lower investment. They may end up paying a thousand dollar a month advance, for example, to an artist or to a brand new writer moving to town. And then they'll be the ones, the publishers will be the ones doing a lot of the development on the front end, helping them build social numbers and helping, helping them even start releasing music, kind of functioning like a pseudo label. We do this even a lot in house where we as a publisher are doing a lot of development and then we go and shop the artist around to a label because labels do not want to sign something that requires all of the work be pretty much done from the ground up. Now there are rare examples of that, but it is the exception, not the rule. You don't wanna base your strategy based off of the exceptions. So the last point that I'd focus on is make sure that when you're approaching a record company or an a and person for a deal, that you have something going on. Guys, it blows my mind how many times people just submit, hey, I recorded some songs and they're on SoundCloud, will you give me a record deal? You've got, that's not, that's not something going on. Like, you want to bring a story. Are your streaming numbers working? Are, are your social media numbers and your engagement connected? That doesn't mean just buying fake followers. That means are you getting real engagement and are, and are you engaging with your fans? Are you touring? Those are really the three areas that they want to know about. It's the streaming, it's the socials, and it, it's the touring. So make sure you have something going on in at least one of those areas when you go in to, 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 to find a label. And here's a little bonus tip at the end. Make sure you know how to tell your story who you are as an artist in three sentences or less. This is what every A&R person, I've taken artists into labels, I've been an artist that's walked into labels, I've had my own record deal, and this is the question that they all want. What is your story? Who are you as an artist? What's your bumper sticker? What's your brand? So you have to know how to boil your story down into a condensed format that doesn't take you five minutes to tell. If it takes you five minutes to tell your story, you don't know your story well enough. So. Those are the keys that you've got to know before you approach a label for a record deal. Hey, if this video was helpful for you, be sure to hit that like button. And uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure you do so, so you don't miss out on any of the other awesome videos on popular music industry questions. And if you have additional questions about the music industry, make sure you leave them in a comment below. We would love to answer them. At Full Circle Music, we have a free training class that teaches you exactly what to do if you want a career in the music business. So if you want access to that video, click down here. And for another awesome video about the music industry, click up here.